Hi guys, so one of the scenarios we're looking out for is a potential landslide caused by a giant earthquake possibly or an eruption, a massive eruption on Kilauea which may cause some of the island to slip away into the ocean generating a tsunami. So it's interesting that 9,900 earthquakes have been recorded at the Hawaii island in the last 30 days. The volcano started erupting on May the 3rd and from then until yesterday, uh, Monday, there's been a record of 9,900 earthquakes, probably a few missing from that. That's nearly 10,000 earthquakes. That's a lot. So the potential for it to affect the volcano or the island in that way, in terms of splitting off a piece of the island, it's not beyond possibility. The highest level of ash that's been recorded there is 30,000 feet. That's the height of aircraft, which is why on May 9th they issued the red alert for aviation. 117 homes have been destroyed. That number continues to increase as the lava spreads out. So far, it's covered 7.7 .7 square miles. That's a huge amount of land, um, and there's no signs of it slowing down. And 250 feet is the highest recorded height of lava fountains that have come out of the ground. So the potential for a big earthquake to affect the volcano in a very negative way is there. So I find it interesting, just interesting, maybe nothing to go on, but... If you believe in subliminal messaging, then maybe potentially something. But I find it interesting that I was watching uh, the news and one of the adverts that have started to come up is this one, which I'm just going to play. Apologies for the feedback echo. I'll kind of explain what they say after. So if that is some subliminal message in there they're saying earthquake next thursday next thursday is june the 14th which is donald trump's birthday the day that this uh come to the white house um event has been put online although it didn't come from the white house directly they're scheduling it for 2 p.m 2 p.m possibly being a time that's indicated in the ipad goat video um and <clears throat> it just interested me interested me quite a lot so i kept that in mind and i was continuing continuing to do my research um, and I came across this little video which I'm going to play for you now. Mint, it will also be issuing commemorative medallions. Leanna Othman with more. The stage is being set as Singapore prepares to host the historic summit between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. And what better souvenir to remember the occasion than these commemorative medallions? We want to preserve history. I want to document history. The gold medallions are selling for $1,380 each, the silver ones for $118 and $36 for the nickel-plated medallions. Now, each medallion features a handshake between the two leaders and their national flags. On the reverse side, a dove symbolizing peace and the national flowers of both countries, rose for the U.S. and magnolia for North Korea. Experts say medallions... Now, that's where I stopped the video because I was thinking, okay, rose for the U.S., that reminds me of the iPad goat video, this scene here with the rose in her hair. And I've been trying to figure out what this flower is for the longest time. And I thought, could it be a magnolia? Since these people are telling, uh, saying that magnolia is the flower of North Korea. And I haven't been able to figure out what this flower is. But we do have a rose in this scene, which not only represents the United States, it represents a few other countries. But we know that this video deals with the United States and possibly the United Kingdom as well, which also happens to share um, the rose as a symbol. <clears throat> I then went and looked at what a magnolia looks like, and there's various different types, different variations, but one of them looks like this, and it's possible that that is that. Sorry, right there. Let me move that there. It's easier. So that looks like that. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, but it's got, you know, the red, the white, kind of similar. So it's it's a potential. There's potential for this flower to be the representation of North Korea and the rose to be a representation of the United States and or the UK. And then I was looking at the other things in the scene, like the staghorns that are just barely visible here, over here, sorry, and the hare and the, or the rabbit, which is visible over here as well. Um, I was paying attention to these horns and I was thinking, is there something in there, like a word or something? What I thought was maybe it's a N in the middle and then a Y on either side, maybe a representation of New York. 
Um, but then I was thinking, what if it's just three Vs? And we know that V is represented quite a lot in this video. Um, and it could represent the number 22, as in the alphabet, or it could represent the number 5, as in Roman numerals. If it represents the number 5, then that's three Vs, which is 15. Um, <clears throat> I was looking over here as well, I was noticing there's another V over here, which I've noticed before, but then the three blades of grass that extend up above the head as well, that could be another representation of three Vs, 15. And then we've got the other representation of 15, which is well known, which is the 15 scratched into the ground just down here. And it's something that's kind of, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but there's a lot of rep representations of number 15. And then when you think about this, uh, that video, this one here, where they're saying earthquake next Thursday, which is May 14th, but I can't do Thursday. I can do Friday, which is, sorry, I keep saying May, which is June 14th. And then I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday, which is June 15th. There's a few correlations of the number 15 coming up, whether that's, you know, 15 as a date of any particular month, I don't know, or whether that's 15 as a representation of the 24-hour format of the number 3, I don't know, but there's certainly um, strong indications towards the number 15, um, even in the, uh, the tower, I'm not sure if the video is going to freeze on me if I try and go there, let's see if I can get it here. But yeah, even in the tower, we have representations of the number five. And um, it could be argued that they may be grouped into threes, if you really want to look at it. Even the shark's eye down here, it's not very clear in this image. So if you want to see it, I'd encourage you to go to this scene um, and just have a look. You've got what looks like the shark's eye. You've got the outline of the shark, which has been pointed out you know, before. And then you've got the eye here. One of the fires could possibly represent the gills, but inside of the eye, it looks like it's a clock with this L shape inside of it, which would indicate the number three or the 24, 24 format or 15. So you've got three and five and 15 kind of all interlinked in together. We're coming up to a 15th, which will be after the summit on June 12th. There's the potential for North Korea and South Korea to be having a party after that time, which could be represented again in the iPad Goat video with this uh, celebration scene going on in the background in the midst of um, Chinese tanks moving in. So there's a lot to watch and it could be that it's indicated for June or possibly July because I have, again, pointed out in the LC scene that from Obama's perspective, it's possible that this could be a 7, which is July, and this could be a 15, which is the 15th of July, and together with the C, then 3 could be 18, July 15, 2018. So I'm just putting out the information. I have no idea whether it's going to come true or not, but it's just my interpretations. And, um, you know, as usual, let me know what you guys think. Like the video, dislike the video, all up to you. But the most important part of this whole thing I think is the um, attention that still should be paid to uh, Kilauea. That's not to say that we shouldn't be paying attention to everything else but the fact that it's had nearly 10,000 earthquakes you know, the ground is unstable there so the potential for the scenario we've talked about to happen only increases as the earthquakes increase. So you guys with that said, have a good morning, good afternoon good evening, watch out next Thursday and Friday, and God bless.